Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at a laptop memory and hard drive upgrade. Depending upon the laptop, installation of a hard drive and or memory will vary greatly. So keep that in mind when you're watching this video review. However, most of the new laptops on the market have easy access to the hard drive and the memory and they're normally located at the back of the laptop. Now before proceeding you want to power down the laptop. Do not put it in standby or hibernation mode. Power it completely off. In this laptop upgrade of the memory and the hard drive I'm using an HP Pavilion ZD7140 US laptop. I've powered it completely off. Next go ahead and close the cover and carefully flip it over. Now the access to the hard drive on this particular laptop is right here. There are four screws that I will need to remove and for the memory which is located under here there are two screws I'll need to remove. Next remove the panels and removal of these panels may vary from laptop to laptop and there are normally different ways of removing them. What I mean by that is some of the panels you might need to push on a corner or you might need to slide in a certain direction. That should be indicated right on the panel. In this particular case for the hard drive panel removal just press on one corner it'll pop up on the other corner you can just easily remove it. Now the memory is a little different. You have to push the panel this way and then grab it from this side and pull it the rest of the ways and it easily is removed. Before continuing, a word of caution. Remember you're dealing with some sensitive electronic devices so don't touch any of the terminals on the hard drive or the memory. Depending on the laptop there might be one or two memory modules. In this particular case the laptop uses dual channel DDR memory and it has two memory modules. Now removing these is very easy. There are two levers on each side of each memory module that will hold it into place. To remove it very simply push this way on this lever, push it this way on this lever it will then pop up carefully slip it out and repeat this procedure for the other memory module. Next install the new memory and it will only go in one way so orientate it correctly and then snap it down. Do the same thing for the other side. Now put the panel back on and screw it into place. Removal of a hard drive from laptop to laptop will vary, but it's generally very easy to do. In this particular case, there is a tab right here. All I would need to do is pull the tab this way, and that will disconnect the hard drive, then remove it. Next, remove this mini hard drive cage. This is the silver thing you're seeing here around the hard drive. You'll need to take this off by removing two screws on each side. Now attach this to the new hard drive. Now carefully place it back into the compartment and push it this way. And finally, place the plate back on top and screw it into place. This upgrade is all about getting more performance from your existing laptop and going from a 4200 RPM to a 7200 RPM hard drive is a big difference. As you're seeing right now on the screen, the existing hard drive was slow. Well, this one is much faster. 
Now the memory is a little different. You're not going to see any difference in benchmark results in the memory, but you will see a lot of difference when it comes to using programs and how many you can have open at the same time, how fast it is when it's using different programs like any kind of photo editing or video editing package. Any kind of program really that requires a lot of memory. You'll see a definite real world advantage to having more than 512 megabytes of memory. Now how much memory should you have? Well, in most situations one gigabyte is more than enough. However, the more the better. If you can't afford it, go as high as a laptop will allow. Overall, both of these products are 100% kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop to my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on these products in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.